There's another ghost town of abandoned homes, this time in South Wichita. And people who live nearby say they're getting frustrated about this. The city owned neighborhood has been boarded up. Many of these properties unoccupied for years, but the city says there is a plan to get people back into place here. Cakes Eli Higgins takes a look. And just seeing it like this, it's probably, is there like a sense of nostalgia or anything? Uh, yeah, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Oh my goodness. Just sitting out here, like we used to sit on the front porch and, you know, just look at the neighborhood. You know, my dad, especially, you know, with his can of beer or whatever, sit out there in the front porch, my stepmom, you know, and just watching the kids play out here and to see it like this where there's no, there's nothing here. This is the home in South Wichita where Winnedra Bell grew up, raised kids, and even became a grandma. A vibrant neighborhood that people used to describe like this. We had block parties. We had the children went everywhere. I mean, it was nice. It was real homey. Now looks like this. It's sad. It's, it's sad. It's like ghost, like a ghost town here. You know, it's not the same at all. City Councilman Mike Hoheisel says the city owns nearly 50 homes in this neighborhood on Hydraulic just north of I-135, and most of them have been abandoned and boarded up for about five years now. It's an understandable um, concern because you don't want to see that in your neighborhood. Hoheisel says the good news is the city has approval from the Department of Housing and Urban Development and available funds from the American Rescue Plan Act to renovate and sell the homes 12 at a time. He says while there's always a lot of red tape dealing with Washington, one of the big advantages he's had to get the ball rolling versus a similar city-owned ghost town sitting stagnant near I-135 and 21st is that it's easier to get environmental approval from HUD in this area. Uh, each of these homes also has to have an environmental report about that thick coming along with it for us to put it back out on the market. Bell says after it's fixed up, she'd even consider buying her old house back. She just hopes the city gets it done sooner than later. There's no life here, you know, and I want it to come back. I really do. In Wichita, Eli Higgins, Cake News on your side.